Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we went to the festival, and now someone just rang our doorbell, so let's check who it is. It might be How, Lily, the Professor, the Kahuna. It's Lily, okay. I mean, th th there isn't really a lot of people it could be. Oh, um, the Professor said, hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer, Woo. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Alex. Hi. What's going on? Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. <laughs> oh, I'll just buy a bunch of repels. Is that silly? No, it's not, because repels are a very useful item. Oh, well done, Alex. You're already making new friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. Drop my stylus. Uh, that was a mistake. Uh, we just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Well, well, thank you. My name's Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. No, okay, fine. Looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Rowlet and don't be gone too long. You know, I'll just be gone for a few hours. <laughs> it's about as long as it takes to travel through the region. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Also, I'm sorry that I accidentally dropped the stylus there. It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Whoa. Well, what's your problem? Enough already, Taros. You're gonna get someone hurt. Okay. Not that way. Is it... Is it this way? Maybe not that way. Okay. Well, the way I wanted to go had a Tauros in it. Ah, here we go. You can only reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he is surrounded by Pokemon. Okay. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that I that using repels keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? You could always use Nibi. And about Nibi, oh, I mean Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Pew. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger, but some other people want to use Cosmog for themselves, to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about what Nibi or what happened on the bridge, please? Sure. I won't tell anybody else. Anyways, here we go. Treading through the tall grass to reach the Professor's laboratory. So, let's see. Is it, is it this? Interesting. It's a little run down. Oh yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go! Give it everything you've got! <laughs> uh, what? what? Uh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. It's actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Uh, what's going on in there? <laughs> Is he getting beat up by a Rockruff? The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I just washed his lab coat and finally, I, I, I finally, you know, she just finally got him clean. Now it'll be in shreds and I'm not good at mending clothes, so you'll have to buy another one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like an excellent idea. I don't think I've ever met a Pokemon professor who destroyed the building they were living in. Oh man, let's see here. He's laughing. Alright. Hey there, Alex. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Okay, what's going on? What do you need? Of course, however I can help... Okay, whoever... Eh, can't even talk. However I can be a help, I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? The Rock Ruff's moves were just so stylish, and I was making good progress with my research. So, say, Alex, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? Yeah! I'll give you my Pokedex. 
So what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? Hmm? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It? What's wrong, really? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Really? A Pokemon in my Pokedex? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, buddy, and to put that crazy skill of Rotoms to work, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate, and there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now, if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in, then... <gasps> it's a Rotom! Hey now, sorry about that Rotom, guess I surprised you. Zzzt. Rotom! Here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Alex here a helping hand, yeah? Zzzt. <laughs> just zzzt noises. And Rotom just went into the Pokedex, so... It's the Rotom Pokedex, cool! Zzzt. nice to meet you pals. Gentle on the goods, okay? Okay, nice to meet you. See, Rot See, Alex, now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken quite the liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Alex hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him this special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you very much! You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom and giving it a little tap. You can now even check out the town map. Okay. Oh, look, it's how. How is it going, Alola? A salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Whoa, what? What's the what's the, so whoa about this place? The Pokemon, the place? Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Alex? How? That's why I'm, well, right, Alex, comma, how? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Alex, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you will look after Alex, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right, uh, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge champion, woo. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four islands to make. Uh, okay, there are four islands that make up Alola and a Kahuna. For each one of them, if you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it is said you must clear seven trials. Alex, I want you and Relic to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon's strength. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Sure, oh yeah, as someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everyone on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. Thanks. It's nice of you. You're getting an amulet. Hey, that's, that's a pretty good amulet. Pretty good amulet. I mean, it just looks cool. I got one for my grams too. Alright then, Alex, you too, Hal, get a move on. Okay! Let's go to the trainer's school. You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge Champion, and the trainer's school is the first step. What about you, How? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, <laughs> trainer them, right? The Island Challenge. So this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take good care of Alex, yeah? Uh, until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Cool. Cool. Uh, if you need some help, give me a little poke in the middle of my map, <laughs> but not too hard. You know, we're, we're getting told that by by the Rotom on the bottom of our screen is always staring at us. Hey, Rotom. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, this is the Alola region. So can we do this? Oh, this even shows you like the division of everything. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I really like that. I, I, I never like expected so many things to be changed within this game. 
Like, it's honestly amazing how many things were changed. Like, and, like, it's not only that. It's how many things that are just new. Like, flat out new. It's amazing. Anyways, it's a slowpoke. Why? Why, of all Pokemon, do you have to show me a slowpoke on this route here? I was, I was hoping I'd find a, 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 I don't know, maybe a Rapidash. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, let's grab this Awakening here and let's get out of here now. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're going to encounter a wild Pokemon. A Wingle. Interesting. Again, not part of my team because I mainly, like, I mainly want to use a Lowland Pokemon on my team. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to use a Lowland Pokemon. Like, that was, that was the whole reason I was a little, like, hesitant to use, um, Raichu, not Raichu, Pichu. I mean, Pichu is still on the team because I haven't had the chance to find a PC to store it in, but that's the main reason, because I want, I want this to be a Lolan Pokemon on our team, not just Pokemon that we've, like, we've seen all the Pokemon already. Prior to this generation, we've seen all the Pokemon that are non alolan Pokemon, so I want to see the Alolan ones now, you know? I want to use them, see how cool they are, you know, try them all out. Anyways, let's use Leafage again. Come on, let this Leafage go through, please. Ah, darn it. Darn it. Why'd you have to go and do that, Rowlet? Why'd you have to go and do that? Darn. Darn. Alright, alright, here we go. Here we go. Rowlet snapped out of its confusion. Okay. Come on. You can take this thing down. You can take this thing down. Use another leafage. Use another leafage. Okay. It's not good. But this leafage should take it down. Uh, come on, use another fight. There we go, leafage. Here we go. Here we go. Are we gonna win this? It's just like a, a really, really slow battle. And it's just like, are we gonna win? Are we not? Obviously, we just won it. And also, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a little bit of grooming here. Just to be kind to Rowlet. So, let's see here. Oh, it looks like Rowlet needs the fan. There we go. There we go. And, of course, there we go. We may now exit this menu here. So, again, I'm not gonna do those... Like, I'm not gonna do that little cutscene thing. It's not really a cutscene. The minigame thing for every single battle, mainly just more, just randomly, pretty much. Let's go, kneecaps! Uh, cool catchphrase, dude. Uh, you're challenged by youngster Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How are you, Kevin? You're good, Kevin. I'm happy to hear that, Kevin. Right. So, you're sending in Grubbin. I can always, I can always use Peck on that Grubbin, you know? Shouldn't be too difficult to use Peck on a Grubbin and hope that it one-shots it, because it probably will. Oh, no, it didn't. Interesting. Interesting. I was sort of expecting it to one-shot it, but it didn't. Alright. No, 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 no! Ah, uh, I didn't intend on doing that. I did not intend on accidentally using Growl. Whoops. Whoops, I guess it happens sometimes. Anyways, let's see here. Let's use another peck and actually hope that this peck goes through because I don't want it to be another, hey, I'm going to use peck, but actually I'm accidentally going to use another move that isn't peck. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's see here. Let's see here. Rallet grew to level 10. All right. Uh, level 10, nicely done. Okay, ah, oh, brought to my knees. You received 120 for winning. You know, I might go down real quick and, like, like go around here just to the other end. Like, uh, if you need something, give me a little poke in the middle of my map. We're not too hard to, okay. 
but like go over this way to fight that trainer but i think i also want to go to the school so yeah let's let's do that let's go this way over to the school here we go hold on a moment let me show you the pokemon center first okay so what's what's so special about the alolan pokemon center hmm it's it's unique yeah, it's it's a lot like the one in the demo, obviously, but hey, it, it's a cool one. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. Oh, you can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo Milk. I read something in a travel guide about Alola ones. Apparently each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafes may also offer more than just one drink. I heard they also, spell, uh, I heard they also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. Okay. We should head to the trainer school next, but have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they are in need of a little aid. Okay, so let's first off heal our Pokemon. I've set the trainer school as our destination. Let's get the show on the road! I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> it's like a giant, like, technological screen that's cool and stuff. Anyways, let me store my Pokemon really quickly. So, here we go. Placing that there. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. It doesn't give you the option to choose between the boxes. It's just like, you, you go directly into that. Oh my goodness, that is so, that's so useful. Because you don't have to like, you, you don't have all these options anymore. You can just go in and choose what to do while you're doing it. Anyways, ooh, ooh, let me think here. I want to buy this. I really do. I really do. So I'm just gonna buy one. I'm just gonna buy one because I want that 35,000 to be able to buy clothes. I, I, I'm pretty sure there's like a clothes store right around here somewhere. So let me click on the map. So let me zoom in. See, I'm pretty sure there's one right around here in this general vicinity so I want to have money for that store because clothes are expensive who's this dude if you use communication features to trade Pokemon with a friend you'll both be happy it basically doubles your happiness okay welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe the time in Alola is now 8 o'clock here in our cafe space we provide a moment of peace to our customers what can I get you started with for today Ooh, pineapple juice a pineapple juice will be 198. Will that be fine? Yeah, that sounds fine with me. Got it. And then if you'll just give me a moment. You can hear him pouring it. Here you are. One pineapple juice just for you. Please enjoy the harmonious tones of sweet and sour that can only be performed by pineapple. Grown under the Alolan sun. This is the same for everyone. Whether you're outside playing or laying around sleeping. Time just keeps on flowing. How you spend it is up to you. Remember, that time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This snack is a specialty of Shalor City in the Kalos region. Oh, that's cool. You open up the medicine pocket and put the Shalor Sable inside. We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. You got some Poke Beans. Poke beans are a specialty in Alola, and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Please come visit us again soon. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, as I was mentioning, I'm now going to run over here really quickly to take on the trainer that we saw over here that we sort of skipped. Also, who's this dude? He's looking at us, but he's not saying much. Anyways, here we go. Hi there. You, you saw me from the side of your eye. Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. You know, we're gonna we're gonna fight. I'm gonna probably notice your cute Pokemon. I'm, I'm gonna also judge if they're cute or not because you know only Rowlet 
and Cosmog. Nah, nah, it's a, a Wingle. You consider that thing cute? It, it, nope, nope. Not even gonna say anything. Not even gonna say anything. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna destroy that Wingle, and it's gonna go down. It's gonna go. Like, this moment is gonna go down as the moment I used leafage on your wingle and destroyed it in battle. So here we go, another leafage. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, water gun. It's not really that effective. It's a water move on, like, a grass-type Pokemon. Anyways, here we go. Here we go. Wingle is down. You get destroyed. You get destroyed. You know? You just got destroyed. You received 144 for winning. Nicely done. We won that fight. And actually, for now, I'm going to end off this episode here. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Bye bye everybody.